For new users, working with the Trials Rising editor could be a bit intimidating, but I've got you covered. Building a basic track is actually fairly easy, so let's get started. First, let's go into the editor. Upon launching the editor, you'll be dropped into a random area of the game world. From there, you can start looking around for a good place to build your first track. You could fly through the world using the analog sticks, or you could cycle through different pre-built areas using the bumper buttons. For these tutorials, I'm using a PS4 controller, so I'll refer to the PlayStation controls. But whatever controller you use, the button configuration for your controller will be at the bottom of the screen. Once you find a nice spot, your next step is to place a driving line. Hit X to lay down your first spline point and starting checkpoint. Move the cursor to where you want the track to go and press X again to place another spline point and the finish checkpoint. The two spline points dictate your driving line, so at this point you've created a very basic track. Let's give it a test. How interesting your track is depends highly on where you chose to place it. But wherever you place it, a hilly area or a flat surface, you're going to want to place some obstacles to spice things up a bit. Hitting up on the D-pad opens the objects menu. From here, we can see previous trials games from which you could pick any object. But in this video, we'll keep it simple. Let's find a nice ramp and place it in the game world. You can click the right stick to snap objects to the driving line. To save time, I quickly placed a few more objects throughout the track. Let's give it another test run. When building tracks, doing test runs should occur often. After a test run, we can fine tune the objects to make a smoother line or add and remove objects if we need to. You can never test too much. Now that we have a basic driving line with obstacles, we can add a few checkpoints. As a general rule, the more checkpoints you place, the better. An area with a short lull between obstacles is a great place for a checkpoint, and it's good to have as few obstacles as possible between checkpoints. Again, testing the track repeatedly to tune objects and adjust checkpoints will greatly improve the playability of your track. Now at this point, we have a basic track. Let's give it another test run. I highly recommend checking out these lessons from later in the tutorial series if you have any questions or want to learn more regarding the tools we used in this video.